All right, guys, we have Apple, we have the Fed, Fed Apple. I guess it kind of goes. Here's Jonathan Corpina to give us more deets. Thanks for joining me, John. Thanks for having me. All right, so looks like uh, NASDAQ having some hard time holding its fresh records that it made this summer. We have Apple tonight. What happens if those earnings bite? You know, we've seen we've seen the tech sector get hit pretty hard over the last few weeks with uh, with earnings season. It seems very fragile at this point. Yes, it had a great run up, um, but right now with so much going on with some of these big names that have reported already, it seems like investors have pulled away from that sector, waiting for an opportunity to jump back in. I don't think you can make that decision just yet with Apple coming out after the bell today. Clearly, we're looking at the numbers, the iPhone sales, the expectations of the X, what's the uh, what's the release date or information about the next iPhone that's coming in the fall. So I think today is really going to dictate how the tech sector is going to trade, at least for the rest of the summer. Well, we will watch out for that. And uh, speaking of the indices, what levels are you watching? Uh, you know, watching the S&P, that 2800 level has been really important. It took us a while to get over it. Um, we were there for a little period of time. We keep kind of testing it back and forth. That level has been and will continue to be important, especially since summer slowdown is going to continue. We're getting into August. Um, we're going to see the markets move a little bit more than they normally do. But I think if you keep an eye on that level there, if we can continue to bounce off of that, that would be healthy for our markets. And we're also looking at the Fed. They have their little two-day powwow right now to decide on a rate tomorrow, rate decision. But why is that so important to watch where interest rates are right now? Well, you know, I think we have a pretty good idea of how this is going to play out, what the blueprint is going to look like. Uh, they're, they're probably going to use the same script that they've used before in the past. The real question is, what's going to happen for the next six months, right? How many more interest rate hikes are we going to get? Everyone's planning on two. Hopefully, we get a little bit more information out of the Fed today than what we're probably uh, tomorrow than what we're expecting. Um, the, you know, the, the, the transparency of what they say is going to be quite important. But we are expecting two more hikes, not one now. And hopefully they tip their hand just a little bit. Sure, yeah. The market likes information and we like certainty. So thank you so much for joining us on Tuesday, Jonathan. Thank you. Have a great day. You